TV. Hello, I'm Beth O'Neill, and today we're here with Amy Amder, founder of Amder Productions and the Port Clinton Art Festival. Hi, Amy, welcome. Thanks, Beth. So tell me a little bit about the history of the Port Clinton Art Festival here in Highland Park. Okay, well, this is the 26th annual Port Clinton Art Festival, but the, the history of the art festival starts a long time before that. It starts when Highland Park was a sleepy old little town, mm -hmm. and uh, there were mostly mom and pop businesses here. And about 28, 30 years ago, we had the development of a lot of interior malls, like Water Tower Place on Michigan Avenue and mm -hmm. Northbrook Court. And what happened is a lot of the business that had been in Highland Park really fell apart and got pulled away as people started going to the interior malls. So about 28 years ago, 30 years ago, the city decided to make a target block in downtown Highland Park, mm -hmm. and that's the block we're on right now. And that block was slated for development. And my dad and his business partners were the people who won the opportunity to develop this block. And it became known as Port Clinton Square in memory of the first original name of Highland Park, which was Port Clinton. It was actually a lumber port mm -hmm. back a long, long time ago. We didn't have a way to bring people in. And at a meeting, I remember saying to my dad and his partners, I think we need to create some special events to create a reason for people to come to Highland Park. Uh, they were all very busy finishing the bricks and mortar part of this building. Mm -hmm. And they said, you handle it. So there I was. And then one weekend, I thought, let's do something special for families that's going to give people a reason to come and kind of wander through the twists and turns of the project. And then I had the idea of an art festival. I loved art, and I've been painting myself since I was a kid. And that was the birth of the idea of the very first Port Clinton Art Festival. So we had our first art festival then 26 years ago mm -hmm. with a group of 40 artists. Wow. And they were juried, and so that meant they had to apply. Wow, that's terrific. How do you select the artists? How do they get chosen? Artists have to apply mm -hmm. with four images of their work and one of what their display is going to look like. So are there any other uh, future shows that you have coming up that you'd like to tell us about? We have a really great end of season show, and that's going to be in Highwood, Illinois, the community just north of here, Okay. October 17th and 18th, and we are calling it the Last Call Art Fair. Mm -hmm. And this is the chance for the public to come before we go into fall and winter mode. So the artists will be bringing in the art that they want to just sell and sell out. Perhaps it's a piece with a little nick on it or an odd piece that just didn't sell for some reason. So it will be a great chance for people to find art at great prices. Well, that's a terrific idea. Yeah, well, thank you. For the artists it, as well. That's right, and everyone's so excited about it. And we have about 125 artists doing that show, and we're going to have live music, and we're also going to have um, some really fun interactive activities for family, like the Art Fest Bingo that we do, where families can go through the festival with a bingo card, mm -hmm. and instead of looking for B5 or whatever it might be on a bingo card, they're actually looking for a painting of a sunset, and it's a way to really enjoy the festival with your children. How many artists do you have in the fair today? We have 260 adult artist booths, and I mention that because we also have 22 youth mm -hmm artist booths. Oh. So we have a youth division. I started about 15 years ago mm -hmm. to give area youth who uh, want to have a chance to show their art and see what it feels like to be a real artist uh, in the show. We have a special division for them and that is not on a jury basis. That's on a first come, uh, first in basis. Oh, okay. Amderproductions.com. Okay. That's Amder, A-M-D-U-R, then the word productions with an S. Okay. So that's 847-926- or 300 and we're happy to answer any questions anyone has about getting into the show or coming to the show and uh, you know anything else art related we're happy to answer great well thank you very much Amy I well, wish you continued success mm -hmm.